What's going on everybody? I'm Bradford Skeldorado and what I'm going to end up doing today is I've got a $150 recipe to end up getting you in there gaming and having fun with your buddies. So what I have today is a Lenovo workstation computer. It's a small form factor so it doesn't have a lot of room but I kind of picked this thing up uh, not expecting to get the whole computer. I found an ad on Facebook Marketplace that ended up having a Ryzen 5 2400G that the guy didn't have anything to hold it in and he said the computer didn't work. So I ended up getting just a CPU for $50 and when I ended up meeting up with him, he said, yeah, I think the motherboard's bad. So you can have the motherboard too. Well, it turns out that whenever I ended up getting the computer, the power switch on the actual front of the case um, wasn't I couldn't feel anything whenever I pushed it. So I opened up the case and found that the actual power button had fallen out. Just pressed it, everything worked just fine. So honestly, I, I got this thing kind of, not necessarily on accident, I called the guy and let him know. And he was like, oh, it's, it's no big deal. I didn't have any use for it anyways. But he left the RAM and I don't know if he knew, but there was also a 500 gig hard drive inside of this thing. So the only thing it did not come with was a CPU cooler. So I ended up getting on eBay and I found a CPU cooler with the back plate for $10. So we've got our current budget is up to 60 bucks that we've got invested so far. I did find, I just went to Best Buy and I got the 500 gig PNY SSD that I normally use for 26 bucks. And I also found locally a guy that had a RX 6400. Um, he stated that he got this thing during the Black Friday sales, used it for about a month, and decided he wanted to get something bigger. He got it originally for $109. He had it listed for 80. I ended up getting it from him for 60 bucks. So everything is fit in our $150 budget. I'm gonna open this thing up and make sure everything works just fine, see if it'll boot up, and we're gonna go ahead and get rolling with this build. All right, so since I don't have a CPU cooler on this thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna boot it up and verify that we can at least get an output signal on this. So let's try it out. CPU is getting warm. There we go. CPU fan failure, so we'll go ahead and turn this off. That is CPU is getting warm. All right, so now that we're aware that everything is at least working with this thing, uh, we can go ahead and pull that motherboard out to see if we can swap that back plate out. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. I may have to try to find another CPU cooler and figure out what we can do to get this thing running properly. So, like I said, go ahead and tear this thing down. Should be fairly quick, but uh, let's get to it.
Alright, so one thing I did not necessarily expect to look for, and it's kind of a bonehead mistake, but I stated we were going to put this SSD and keep the hard drive. Now, after looking at everything, I didn't think that there, there is another SATA cable hookup, but there's not another SATA power. So what I'm going to end up having to do is just to make sure this thing is as fast and efficient as possible, I'm going to pull that 500 gig hard drive out and I'm going to swap it out with this 500 gig SSD and we're just going to use this for now. All right, so as you can see, my, my first concern was the CPU cooler. But after further inspection, um, you can definitely see that the GPU has a clearance issue with this panel. So I tried to bend it just enough to be out of the way, but that's not going to work. And not only that, once I bent that, I did notice it is hitting our GPU or our CPU cooler. So... What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this out to my shop. I'm going to cut a section out of here, and then I'm going to cut a, a little portion right here to where it's not going to mess with our uh, storage uh, retainer, and it will allow us the clearance to go ahead and shut this thing completely. Alright, so now before I get five different people in the comments saying you should have removed the motherboard, you're throwing metal sparks, you're throwing this, that, and the other, I, I know. If I had a dollar over 150 bucks into this thing, I probably would have removed everything. But we're under 150 people, so uh, we're, we're good with grinding on top of it. I'm going to blow this thing out real good, make sure we don't have any other metal shavings or anything in here. We're gonna test fit this thing and see if it works. So, let's see if it does. All right, we'll tuck these in here. Check and see if there's anything else we need to take off. Oh! We have to trim it out a little bit more. Oh, I mean, we're not touching, but it's so close. That's so close. All right, so as you can see, we have everything put back together. Everything's hooked up to include our SSD and our disk drive if for any reason we were feeling spicy and felt like we needed to use that. Uh, but everything's hooked up. Everything's blown out, clean out from all the metal shavings that everybody told me not to do. And we've got plenty of clearance for our GPU and our CPU cooler. So normally I'm one to check everything before I completely close this thing up, but today, I'm feeling lucky. So I'm gonna throw the side panel on. I'm gonna put my monitor over here. I'm gonna test this thing out and see if it works. All right, so our $150 gaming PC booted up first time, no problem. So now we've got some games loaded. We're gonna do some testing and benchmarks and see how this thing actually performs. So there you have it. 
the $150 Lenovo workstation turned gaming PC has honestly exceeded all of my expectations. This thing was a lot of fun to do, and if you would like to see what would happen if I were to add maybe $100 or even double the cost of this thing up to $300 and what we can come up with, let me know below. I appreciate you watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Hope you have a wonderful day.